Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up an area trigger using the near sensor and a few problems you might come across and how to fix them basically. So this is meant more for the starter user than the advanced user so let's get into it and let's learn. So we're going to start off by setting up our scene so we're going to get rid of all this garbage and we're going to change it to blender game. And also come here and over here and change this from default to game logic. All right. So what we want need, what we're gonna need to do now is add in a empty. And we're just gonna put this as a cube. It doesn't really matter what type. Just kind of gives gives you a visual representation of different kind of empty. So what we want to do here is close this, and we want to add a a sensor. So we're gonna add a near sensor and we're going to detect the player so we're going to give this properly player so we're going to look for a a object with properly player so what you're going to want to do is add an object which is going to be your player so this cube will do for now in this test but you can use your actual player model so you could just select that or whatever and we want to come here and add a game properly and it doesn't really matter what type it is. Um, I just like putting on Boolean. I don't know why. It's just nicer. So we want to give this property a name, player. And the name's what's important. So, yep. And make sure it's the same as what you've got here. All right. So if we were to go and click show physics visualization, we're going to be able to see a visual representation of the, the search radius, basically. So if we press play... As you can see, nothing's happening. And that is because of, I don't know why it does this, but you're going to need to connect it up to a, a, sent, a actuator, basically, for it to be able to see it. I don't know what's going on there, but we're going to connect it up to a message, and we're going to call this message end and the subject. And the rest is, doesn't really matter. End is the, the main thing that you need for the subject. So if we connect this up... What you'll see is we can see our search radius, which is that 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 red kind of um sphere. So if we change the search radius to something like four and the reset to four, it doesn't really matter. Um, as you can see, we have a bigger search radius. So depending on how big you want the search radius to be, just change that. All right. So. Now that that's working, we want to be able to see if this is actually working. So if we move this down into the radius, so it should be picking it up now. So we want to see if it's actually working. So we're going to add a cube over here. Now this cube is going to be our event. So basically what's going to happen. So spawning a player or something, so you could use another empty for that. Or, I don't know, spawning an enemy or blowing up a ridge or something, anything that you really wanted. So we're going to add a sensor and we want to add a message and we want the subject to be in and we want the um, we want the actuator for it to affect um, edit object and we're just going to change this to end object. Alright, so if we connect this up as you can see we press play and nothing happens. And the reason for this is even though this is player and they're both spelt right, I'm pretty sure, the reason for this is this is invisible. Even though in this near sensor we have player and on here we have player. And the reason, the way we can make this visible to this, this near sensor is by coming over here to the physics panel, this little bouncing ball or whatever that's supposed to be, and you just need to turn actor on right here. And what this is going to make it be able to do is basically, as you can see, it works now. You can see it working. So if I was to move this up and we'd change this to dynamic, as you can see, once it falls into the region, it, it basically sends a message and ends object. So this, every time it comes through, it's basically going to redo this thing. So, if you want this to only activate once, there's a few different ways, but um, 
the, the easiest way to do it probably is just come here and st add a state actuator. State. And what we want to do is connect this up. And you just want to set it to another state. So if you don't know what states are, they are basically a collection of logic bricks. So they're like layers for logic bricks. So as you can see right here, this is the first state or first layer. So all this logic is on it. So basically you just want to pick the second layer or one that doesn't have logic. And what you'll see is when it falls in, it kind of, it get, as you can see, the... Um, uh, the near sense of search rate is kind of thing disappears which it's just turning off the logic and all we have there is the empty now so thanks for watching if you have any questions about this tutorial comment them down below and you can also subscribe to get updated every single week when I come up with a new tutorial so see you next week and keep blendering